knowing that you have a, an aneurysm you know, is a frightening thing for all, all the patients, but knowing that there's options that will allow them to be treated and go home potentially the next day uh, gives them some comfort. Doing the procedures uh, from an endovascular standpoint uh, saves the patient a uh, incision on their head, saves the patient uh, uh, a risk of infection from that incision, and it basically allows us to treat a problem uh, going inside the blood vessels and um, avoiding having to manipulate the brain and work around the brain and uh, subject the patient to uh, removal of the bone and uh, manipulation of the blood vessels outside of the brain. So your hospital stay, generally speaking, is less. Usually you're in the hospital overnight and you can return to your normal activities without any restrictions in about one week is what I usually tell folks so that they'll gradually head back. Whereas opposed to um, open surgery, usually I have people uh, take it easy for about four to six weeks. It really, um, it, it takes that long after the open surgery for most people to be able to feel like they're ready to go back to their normal activities. What, what we do is we access the femoral artery typically. We bring up uh, catheters into the patient's neck and then we take small catheters uh, that um, you know, are about the size of um, you know, angel hair pasta basically up in there and then fill the aneurysm. In this case, typically what you're using is coils, which are small pieces of platinum metal which are like small pieces of thread. You're essentially creating a ball of yarn, in this case it's platinum metal, and it fills up the aneurysm. If the aneurysm's filled up with that, the blood can't go into the aneurysm and it flows right by the aneurysm and then the aneurysm won't rupture. We use our um, uh, fluoro suite here, our angio suite, and the patient is basically being imaged uh, with uh, contrast dye uh, during the procedure. Uh, so that uh, we can see the uh, vascular anatomy with our contrast dye, similar to the contrast they use to do uh, CAT scans um, and take pictures of the patient's vessels as we're working. Even though it's a minimally invasive sort of procedure, it still has risks and there are still clear indications that the other procedure is better in some folks especially younger folks. The problem with the endovascular treatment option remains and always has been a durability issue. Will it last 40 years? They haven't been around 40 years. CLIPS and the open procedures have been around for a long time. We know what the history is that of that treatment option is over decades. Uh, it's a little bit harder and impossible to say right now what will happen decades from now for people who have aneurysms coiled. We, we have some indication because it's been around for almost two decades now. But what will happen to the very young, meaning 20 year olds, 30 year olds, uh, when they're 70? That's a tough one. Having said that, technology changes so fast, we may have a totally different option for everybody in 10 years. Uh, so if there was something that needed to be done, it may be managed totally different. New variations of coils and catheters come out literally every month or so. So although they may not be spectacular changes, they change rapidly. So these companies are in competition to try and solve some of the difficulties, to improve the durability, make more aneurysms treatable uh, through these techniques. And so it changes very, very rapidly. So five years from now, I would imagine that it, it, there might be some similarities, but we could have totally different set of tools. There, there's, there's little doubt. I think that um, the numbers of aneurysms that we can't treat endovascularly are, are decreasing. Because we have, um, we have opportunities for uh, uh, teaching students, it's part of our mission to make sure we stay on top of things. So that allows us uh, the opportunity to keep 
trying to drive the technology, stay on top of the new developments. Um, it's a center that's made to uh, stay in the forefront of these sorts of technologies.